Well, here we are. It's Aussie Pete here again. I'm just going to cover a few of the major finds that uh, I recovered in my last trip out west. On the far right here, we've got seven buttons. Now, these are normally made of uh, brass, and most times they have the maker's uh, name stamped on them. And uh, but this time I've got seven buttons that have nothing stamped on them. No maker's name, no uh, advertisement for any store or shop or merchant at all. So it's very rare, but I've got seven in a row there. Now the next buckle or uh, basically suspender buckle for overalls or whatever. These are also are quite prolific on the gold field. And normally at the top there is normally there's a uh, stamp the word Paris quite a few times I've also picked up 1865 1866 and I've also got a few that uh, have been stamped with what looks to be a uh, coat of arms something like the like these shavers people the companies that make shavers these days you know like the cross, cross swords anyway come with one of my favorites on the golf fields the old uh, Chinese coin now with the old Chinese coins you uh, read them top, bottom, left, right. Now I can't off the top of my head uh, pronounce this emperor's name but I believe he uh, ruled from about uh, 1736 or something like that. But uh, yeah I found quite a few of the old Chinese uh, coins on the gold field. Next we have that small uh, belt buckle. Now I haven't got a clue on what it means on the face, face itself. It has no um, manufacturer's stampings or anything in that colour, but, but uh, it obviously to me is a child's or a, a lady's uh, belt buckle. But I'd love anyone who out there who's got any knowledge on uh, what this would mean, I'd appreciate it. But yes, that was my first golf field find with uh, the new uh, AT Pro Garrett uh, International. And I was very, very happy with it. But anyway, there are the major finds for uh, my last bush trip. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoy your Christmas. Please be safe. And I'll see you in the new year. All the best.